hello guys so today i am very excited because i got my package from amazon so in this video i'm going to unboxing my new camera what i got so this is the canon eos m50 but first of all i am not a photographer or anything like that and i know i am not a right person to like talk about this stuff and normally i don't do like uh, tech related videos so if you want to know my opinion and you want to see how the camera look like and you want to see some footage then please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you are enjoyed and thank you for watching so i heard a lot of good things about this camera but first open this one and i will show you what is inside So inside the box it has some papers, you know, like instruction of course and also the straps for the camera and here is the kit lens which has a very nice silvery grey color and here is the camera body in a white color it's not exactly like white, it's more like a creamy white color with the greyish leather and they give it one battery with the battery charger of course so here is the camera I already charged the batteries so as you can see I ordered in a white color I think it looks very cute with this color it looks very vintagey so i ordered this one from amazon with the kit lens and it was like 550 euros and the kit lens is the 15 to 45 millimeter lens and this is a zoom lens the reason why i wanted to upgrade my old camera what i'm using right now is the canon eos 700d I got this like uh, four years ago when I got this I didn't know how to use it I didn't know too much about like DSLR cameras but right now I know how to set up my camera I have more knowledge of course I don't know everything but I try to learn more and more and I'm using this camera with the kit lens and this is the 18 to 55 millimeter lens this is a, also a zoom lens but i also have another lens one this is the 15 millimeter stm lens this is not a zoom lens with this lens you can have a very nice blurry background but if i use this lens with this camera the autofocus is very slow so that's why i do not use this one that too often so sometimes i use this one or this one it depends about the situation it's good only for like sit down videos or like very close shot or taking like portrait pictures this one is very nice and the things what i don't like about this camera the 700d first one is the autofocus is very slow in this camera and it's very hard to like focusing on things and also the kit lens what i'm using right now is very noisy right now i cannot use the autofocus with this lens because then you can hear the noise so i just turn off the autofocus but this lens is not noisy so i like this one but other than that i think this is a very good camera and i do not think i really need to like buy a new camera but you know everybody say this is a very good camera and this has a very fast autofocus and also and this one is not as big than this one because this one is like very big so anyways i do not want to talk about too much about this camera because you can find a lot of uh, 
videos about this camera and lots of information and also i want to show you the difference between of these cameras so right now is the lighting is not too good here is a window and here is a soft box right now this is the lighting situation the weather is very bad so this is how it looks like with this camera and i'm using the kit lens right now so yeah now i'm going to turn on the autofocus on the lens i think you can hear the noise what the lens makes and let's see how fast the autofocus So now I I put this lens and I will show you how it looks like. So here is how it looks like. Like I said, the lighting is very bad. Struggling to find me. also has a noise but not too noisy as the other one as you can see it looks very nice but it takes time to find me okay so now I'm going to put this one on the tripod but before I do the video test, I want to show you quickly my settings. But of course you can skip this if you are not interested. So normally I like to use my camera in manual mode because then I can customize everything what I want. So this is how my settings looks like for a video. I am shooting in 25 frame. The ISO it can change depends about the lighting condition. I like to keep it low as possible. I never go above like 800. With the aperture I also like to keep it low but it can also change about my mood or the situation. The shutter speed is 50 or sometimes 60. And normally I use auto white balance but I know it's better to do a custom white balance. Maybe I will try next time. And the picture profile, what I use is either standard or natural. And then I do color grade my videos with a video editing software. The autofocus is very fast. Let's see. Mm. It's focusing for the light. Okay. Again. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Which one do you prefer? This one or the Canon 700D? Which one looks better? Right now? I don't know. I think this one is uh, more sharper. And the color looks different. 
to me it looks more more like magenta the 700d looks more yellow more warmer but it's not a big problem like i can fix it so it's definitely more sharper than the other one And I also tried another video test with a better lighting condition facing the window and I had one softbox front of me, behind me a white wall. So the left side is the M50 and the right side is the 700T. As you can see the 700T is struggling a little bit with the autofocus. M50 has no issue with that and also more sharper. You can see more detail. But I also like how the 700T looks like. The color is more muted. I also want to do a very quick uh, audio test so normally this is what I use this is the Zoom H1 audio recorder this is very easy to use I can put everywhere where I want and now this is the audio from the Canon M50 this is how it sounds like let me know what do you think about it and yeah what can I say I hope this one is sounds better and now I am switched to the 700T and yeah and now this is the audio from the 700T this is how it sounds like I guess the M50 sounds better but right now I don't know so that's it I think the Canon M50 is a great camera and as you can see it has a very nice quality even with the kit lens it looks decent it has a wi-fi and also a bluetooth connection which is a very useful thing nowadays and also this can shoot like 4k videos personally i do not care about 4k right now but it's nice to have a camera which can shoot 4k videos of course but i still love my old camera i think is also very great actually i was thinking about like sell this camera after i bought this one but honestly i am not ready yet because this was my first dslr camera i have so many memories with this and i also traveled with this and yeah for both of these camera has their own uniqueness and also i can change the lens on both of these to have a better quality image but right now I cannot say too many things about the M50 because I didn't use as much but so far I like it. The M50 is way much smaller than this one and it's perfect for vlogging. 
I only do vlog videos when I travel to somewhere so I think this one is perfect for also traveling the Canon 700D is very heavy but it's just also feels like more professional so I think right now is the Canon M50 is a better choice in 2020 but if you have the Canon 700D then I do not think you have to buy the M50 I upgraded this camera because of the autofocus but anyways I think both of these cameras is perfect for beginners but it depends what you want to do and what you need to have so yeah so that's it i hope this video was helpful for anyone who is in the similar or in the same situation as i i was and if you have any question or advice then please leave a comment and if you are enjoyed this video then give me a like and also you can subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and see you in the next video